Well, thanks for being with us. We're also streaming live on CBS and Denver. Once again, once again, rather, Glenwood Canyon remains closed after another flash flood and a wave of mud across Interstate 70. The busy highway will stay closed all weekend long. Copter 4 was overhead today as the CDAT crews were pushing all that mud and other debris off the road, as you can see. It was a really big job. Our Jamie Leary live tonight. Jamie, several drivers took shelter in the Glenwood Tunnel last night, but then they got trapped by the mud. Jim Sida told us today they accounted for 108 people that needed to be evacuated from the canyon. Fortunately, there were no injuries, but we spoke with one woman who has quite the story. She crawled out the window of her car, which was buried by the debris and dug out this morning. She says she feels lucky to be alive. This is. Uh... This is Ty Gulch. Typically, if there's any moisture, they have the canyon shut down, but they wasn't raining too hard in Glenwood. And after her shift at the hospital in Glenwood, Autumn Bear felt it was safe to drive the 13 miles east back home to Bear Ranch. As I kind of progressed through the canyon, it just got worse and worse. And by the time I got to the east side of the Hanging Lake Tunnel, the rain picked up, debris began to fall from the canyon walls, and her car stalled. My car went black, uh, the windshield and all the windows, and could kind of feel the thump of stuff, you know. I tried to open my door and I could see all the debris, you know, coming in the car. I thought enough to grab my wallet and my phone and kind of stick them in my shirt and I kind of crawled out more or less and I knew I was about a mile from home and and we're a little bit ranchy, so I just took off running for home. <laughs> Once she had service, she was able to call her husband Jim who jumped in his ATV. I couldn't get her on the phone again and that was the made me the most nervous. I thought, what if what if a big slide swept her into the river? Fortunately, she was uninjured and one of more than 100 people evacuated. Her husband went back the next day to assess and help CDOT and emergency responders. They're working tirelessly on the road, you know, and they get they get a hard time sometimes, but they're doing everything that they can. They'd like for the road to be open. And both agree while the closures and detours are inconvenient. You experienced being in the slide. It's much better to not. It's worth it. Yeah, to yeah. Not, not be in on that. That's it's pretty terrifying. Again, canyon closed through at least the weekend. We're standing at the beginning of that northern detour here in Silverthorne. It is about four hours, but the Bear family hopes people are not discouraged by this long roundabout way and that they make the trek still to Glenwood Springs to support those businesses there. Reporting live from Silverthorne, Jamie Leary, CBS4 Mountain Newsroom. Just a harrowing story for that.